Good morning or afternoon. You join me on my very final day with the uh, Volvo V70 California, which just for today is the Superleggera, the L, the lightweight. Uh, basically, I've taken off every bit that I think I can possibly sell. I've sold quite a few bits anyway, and now it's on its way to CRS Metal Recycling uh, to be scrapped, to see how much I can get for it. It's kind of a shame because it's still got good discs and pads all round and it's got shock absorbers on it and it's got a fairly new turbo but the engine has had it no one wants to buy the whole thing off me and i don't want it on my driveway i don't want to be paying storage for another breaker and i honestly can't be asked with all these messages saying oh can you take this off can you take that off and although i like the idea of selling the turbo to someone if i take the turbo off it i then can't use the car for anything so let's say I sell the turbo for 150 quid. I still got the whole car sat on my drive. So, and this is, you know, many of you might have faced this reality yourselves. I know there's still valuable bits on this car. I don't want to just sack it off. I feel like it's a massive waste, but at the same time, I don't really know what else to do with it. I don't want to pay storage. I can't get the rear seats out because they're really hard to get out. Um, so you, you get to a point where you think, okay, that's it, it's gotta go. I don't need it on my driveway. I, I don't wanna pay storage for it down at the unit. Nobody wants to buy the whole thing. I don't want someone to take the engine and then be stuck with a shell on my driveway or down at the yard paying storage and the farmer moaning that there's a half strip car down there. So let's go weigh it in and see how much we can get for it. Let's let the car die. I have today taken off lots and lots of bits. Um, what's funny though is if I flip the camera around, now that I'm driving it empty, I can see the rear shock top mount vibrating. Oh, getting stared at because I'm driving a car that probably doesn't look very legal right now. Doesn't look regal either. Um, anyway, we haven't got far to go to uh, metal recycling. Right, I'll see if I can show you this. Uh, I'll just get one of my passengers to see if I can show you the vibrating rear shock as we drive along. Hang on. Passenger, could you just take my phone for me? All right, that's done. I, I, don't know, I don't know how well you can see the shock bouncing around, but obviously, to be honest, it probably just needs tightening up, but it's one of those funny things, isn't it? I was pulling off my driveway and it was bouncing up and down like a frog on a mill pond. So, yeah, funnily enough, this car's driving really nicely now. If I floor it though, Yeah, that's ironic. Floored it that time, and it's absolutely fine. So um, I don't really know what you meant, what you meant to do about that. It'd be funny if the only problem that this car had was like one switch that was slightly not connected properly, and by me removing everything, I've actually fixed the car. I don't think that's the case because it has been diagnosed by a proper Volvo specialist. But um, there we go. End of the line for the California. Right, that's the final drive. I even put fuel in it for that final drive because I just don't trust this car. Kind of should have done more with it. Uh, I did book it into We Buy Any Car, but then my wife was like, why have you booked it into We Buy Any Car when you know they're not gonna buy it? And I was like, oh, it'll make a funny video. And she's like, what, what is the point? You're just literally wasting time for the sake of it. And to be fair, this time I'm gonna listen to her. So instead of wasting my time making a video with We Buy Any Car, I'm going to drop this car off at the metal recycling place and then I'm going to go for a walk with Mrs. Jeff because that's a better use of my time than making a video that will probably be watched by about 12 people. And that's one of the things that I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to value my time better and not waste my time on frivolous projects. Like, for example, having a Volvo on my drive that I'm breaking for bits, waiting for people to come and buy parts from. That is, would be a frivolous waste of my time. And uh, I'm trying to trying to be less Jeff and more of a better family man because I do get a bit obsessed with being Jeff. So let's go and scrap the car. So we're on the way in now and there's a guy in a uh, Taycan, Taycan 4S and he had a right good look at the California. So there you go.
you need a headlight? Uh, I'll just strap it in, uh, in a tyre. Okay. But I'll just strap her in July. Alright, um, hang on. I'm breaking two of these at the minute, so I'd be interested when you scrap it as well. So I've always always joked on my YouTube videos that I don't like wasting cars. I don't like giving cars away. I've never scrapped a car before. This is my first time. So I took it to CRS today and they said, we can't take the car with the cat. We can't pay for the cat because it's on the car. You can't park the car outside and take the cat off because that's illegal. And so you're gonna have to go and do it yourself. I tried that. What is it in these videos? You see these people in Birmingham and they go up with a car and they, they literally get the cat off in like 30 seconds. It's taken me about three hours and then I gave up. I bought it to STP, super helpful. So we have the cat off, which is down there. So um, let's go and see if the cat is worth any money and see how much money we get for this V70 California. Thank you very much for your help, sir. Right, let's fire up the old uh, D-Cat V70 Turbo. Oh, it's much better. Yeah, I like that. See it? Sounds good, doesn't it? Oh yeah! Funnily enough, it's not actually as loud as my race car when I got that. Because that had the cat cut out as well, it was way louder than this. Right, let's go cash it in. Then. that's all done that is the end of the volvo v70 california i've got my payout slip here and it says i was right to take off the catalytic converter i didn't realize i've probably said this in the video already i didn't realize you can't just rock up at a scrap place with a car and then have them cut the cat off and then sell them the cat and the car which would make sense to me um apparently you can't do that so then i was like oh crap can i just take the cat off outside in the yard and he was like, no, that's illegal. I said, can I leave the car there and go get my tools? He said, no, because there's, there's wagons arriving. Basically, he was super awkward about it. Um, then I was like, okay, so I was up here with the wife earlier on because we were meant to be going for a walk. Then she took me back home and I cut all my tools and I jumped in the race car. And then I was like, oh, no worries. I'll just whip the exhaust off real quick, put the car on my ramp. Couldn't get the bloody bolts off the manifold. Didn't have the right tool to cut it off. Farted about for way too long and then drove to STP and said, can you please help me get the exhaust off my car so I can just scrap this thing? And he was really helpful. And uh, I offered him some money and he said, no, uh, uh, a shout out on your YouTube video is enough. So preps to STP services in Malvern for getting me out of a spot. Right, the net result on the Volvo V70 California. Um, I got 547 quid for the car when I weighed it in, which was made up of 280 pounds for the catalytic converter and 268, yeah, 547. Oh, there's an admin deduction. <laughs> yeah, so basically 280 quid for the cap. The cap was worth more than the car. And there was a pang, I had a pang when I watched the guy, to be fair, I think it says a lot about people that work at scrap places because he had to move the car from the front of the building to the back. Maybe they're not used to scrapping cars that run, but I'd have just driven it because it drove perfectly well. There was nothing wrong with the way that car drove apart from the fact that it needed an engine. Um, but no, the forks from the forklift truck went straight through the front windscreen and he picked it up and dumped it unceremoniously in whatever the yard is where they do the next thing. I think all they do is take the battery off and then crush it up into a cube which is a great shame. And I, I was, you know, 
there's a part of me that's going, oh, but there's so many bits on that car. I could have had the steering wheel out, the gearbox, the engine. But like I said on my, on my video on the way up, what am I going to do then? So I end up with a shell sat on my driveway and oil and, and fluids everywhere. Like I don't want to be, I don't break cars. I don't like breaking cars. I'm not very good at the me mechanics. I quite enjoy breaking them because it means if you take something off and break it in the process, it doesn't matter. But I just, my, my worst fear was that I'd end up with half a Volvo on my drive and all the neighbors complaining and having to pay someone to take it away. So that's it, it's gone. Um, I've still got a lot of interior trim bits. I saved all of the trim that goes on these bits and these bits and all that sort of stuff. Um, so there we go, the memory of the California lives on. Um, I kept all the badges as well. So that's that, that is the end of the V70 California. I kept the roof, I don't know why, I kept the canvas roof. Um, I just, I just the, the tarpaulin roof. I just felt like I couldn't give that up, and I got to a bit like as I was watching it, you know, be taken away with the forklifts through the front windows. There was a, in the back of my head, there was a guy with a tiny violin playing. Goodbye, my lover. You have been the one. You have been the one for me. I'm so hollow, baby. Bit of James Blunt uh, playing you know as i'm stood at the office up the stairs at crs sobbing as they destroy my volvo so i think i was probably the only customer that they had there who was singing james blunt whilst the forklift took the volvo away but uh hopefully that won't be the last so there we go we're going to end that video with some terrible james blunt and um that's that
YouTube's most boring car channel.